Going to kick things off on this Monday with a quick look at your pinpoint forecast. The computer model shows that uh, at this morning, 5 a.m. mark, not a cloud in the entire region. When we put it in motion and show you the next couple of days, you'll see an occasional cloud sweep through the region, but no shower activity of any kind showing up over the next four, five, six days. A weak wave of energy passing through on Wednesday, but again, the heart of every storm for the next several days passing so far to our north that it really won't have much of an impact on us here in Southern Oregon and Northern California. Chance for rain highest Friday night for most of us, and that's going to top out at around 10 to 20 percent. So not a lot of activity coming our way anytime soon, except sunshine and warm daytime highs at the coast today. Temperatures for the most part in the 60s and 70s, but in Brookings, the Chetco effect should pump the temperature up there all the way into the low 90s. Tonight, it should be clear and cool, but yeah, a little bit breezy both uh, today and tonight. Overnight low temperatures upper 40s to low 50s, but in Brookings, a little warmer, low 60s again because of the Chetco effect. In the interior valleys today, lots of sunshine with daytime highs, mid to upper 80s and overnight lows tonight should be in the 45 to 50 degree range. Keep in mind, it'll be a bit breezy this afternoon and evening, especially along the ridge tops, higher elevations, and especially the further north you go. East of the Cascades today, sunny and warm, but again, a bit breezy. Temperatures for the most part around 70 to 80 degrees should be absolutely beautiful tonight. Clear and cool overnight lows, 30s to 40s. It will be a chilly uh, night in the Christmas Valley and up towards Chamult. So watch for the potential for a little frost there. But, uh, you know, the moisture content of the air is so low that I doubt you'll actually see frost. You'll see the temperatures, but not the actual frost. We'll talk more about the details of what you can expect for the next several days later today on NBC5 News.